You have your basic live stream going, but you want to know how to make it even better. Have you thought about adding things like Twitch alerts, those sort of things, so you know when you get new followers? You ever wonder how those live streamers do that? Well, I want to show you how, so stay tuned. All right, guys, one of the best things that you could ever have with a plug-in for OBS, whether it's standard or multi-platform, is a CLR browser. Now, for OBS standard, which is the version most people are using now, it's CLR browser. For multi-platform, it's called browser plugin. Okay, so the way you get to it is you come to the website, obsproject.com, you go to the forums, and you find plugins, okay? And you have OBS plugins. This is for standard. And you have OBS multi platform plugins, okay? So this is the new one. This is the old. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the old one. It's the same way in the new one, except the names change. That's all you need to know. So here it is, right here. Probably the most popular plugin that you're going to have for OBS. So CLR browser plugin. Click on that. It takes you to the plugin page. Now, I want you to be aware. It has 32-bit and 64-bit versions, okay? Make sure you download the right one that corresponds to the type of OBS that you have. If you're using 64-bit OBS and you try to do the 32-bit CLR browser, good luck getting it to work because it's not going to. You need to download the uh, applicable plugin that goes with your version of OBS. So I use 64-bit. So I would download this. Now, you can see right here, it is a zip file. It tells you right below it, extract this to whatever, not necessarily C program files, but wherever you store OBS plugins. Okay, so when you have, wherever you installed OBS, whatever hard drive, you want to put it in that plugin folder. Okay, so that's where you want to extract it. And it's simple as that. So when you do that, okay, and you're going to have OBS come up. And you can see, let's see, let's find uh, this one because it doesn't have anything. And you right click and add, you should have CLR browser pop in here. And it's simple as doing that. You add the plugin, and this is what it looks like. Okay, CLR browser configuration for advanced guys, you can do CSS stuff. I am not a big CSS guy, so I don't know the code to be honest with you. So I'm just using the general plugin. You can size your window for what you want it to be. Okay, so generally speaking, like here, you see that what CLR browser does is it will display anything inside a URL. So say for instance, you have a YouTube video. And I will say, let's go, let's go to the video I posted today. And we will go to my YouTube page. And it is a World of Warships highlight. And there it is. Oh, what the hell? Are they? I'm be so I will copy. Right now. I should use some help. And then paste that in here. And you can change it. Let's say, let's cause it's a, it's a 720. So what is it? 1280. Oh. 1280 by 720. Oh, good grace, I can't take 720. There you go. You can change the frame rate if you want to 60. You have advance here too, which will be here. You can see this. You can change fonts. You can do all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so there you go. Now, CLR browser is plugged. So when I preview, it should pop up with that URL automatically showing the video. It, oh, what's so the hell? I'm going to be hit from all sides right now. And you see what it does? I some help over here. It brings up on a long way that web page. Bro, I got tons. And you can adjust right? it I'm as really necessary. Being hit from both sides. Well, you got a bunch of guys coming into your. Yeah, I know. I got both sides, man. Literally, both sides. You crop it. So you can see yeah, what you can do with this. Thing. Way. 
that's just a, Ow. one example of what you can do using CLR browser. So you can use this thing for plugins or for web pages. But what a lot of Oh man, these, I uh, need help over here, but I need like help bad. Uses, they use uh, a URL I got a and a care Okay, well. So what they do is they use CLR browser to do Twitch alerts or, you know, your follow alerts. Different. There's different uh, web pages, different things that do this or bots, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I use Twitch alerts. So we will go to my Twitch alerts page. Uh, da -da, Twitch alerts. Tom. And launch Twitch alerts. Now it should connect to my Twitch account since I'm already logged in. And there you go. So you can see my Twitch alerts box for or my dashboard for my Twitch alerts. And you have different things here like stream widgets. Okay, this is what you want. Look at this alert box. An alert box, it gives you an, an, a URL uh, API. And you could copy this thing and see so you got alerts, you got follow alerts, you got different settings. Like you can see how I have this set up. This is my little. Oh, yeah. Whatever anybody follows, that's what plays. I mean, you can add MP3s, all that kind of stuff to make your, your uh, follow alert a little better. But anyway, you know, this is Twitch alerts. This is how I do my stuff. And what it does is it gives you this URL though to do this. You can see it'll work on follows, subscriptions, donations, and host. So you copy that. And then what you do is you open your CLR browser. Now what I like to do is I like to name it something other than CLR browser. Like I will say follow alert. And then what I will do is go. I'll put my Twitch alert in there. And blam, what I should have now, and you'll see it pop in here. Now, what I should, can go do is now I can go and test it. So I should be able to, let's see, let me get it so that you can see them both. Just to show you how it works. I will test this. And it should pop up. Oh, online. yeah. So now you see, it just popped up inside of OBS. And that's how... Those follow alerts work. It's real simple. It's not hard at all. But that is what the power of the CLR browser will do for you, is it will give you the ability to use these APIs that are, uh, you know, off of Twitch alerts or whatever alert bot that you're using. Uh, you know, and that's how it's just real simple. It's not hard at all. So CLR browser, make sure if you're going to use one plugin other than the standard stuff, make sure that you use CLR browser because you can do anything that uses a URL. You can display inside your stream. Okay, and that is a big deal. I mean, you can do, like I said, videos. You can do photos. You can, if you're doing training or something and you want to reference a website, you can CLR browser that website. It is awesome. So make sure you download that CLR browser use it for your alerts, sign up for a program like Twitch Alerts. I'm trying to remember some of the other names, but that's a, I just use Twitch Alerts. It's easy, really easy to use, and I like it a lot. It's got a good UI, and whenever you sign in to Twitch, it's automatically there. You don't have to continue to sign into your dashboard. Uh, once you set it up initially, it's good to go. So, and you can also do donations and stuff through this too. It's real nice. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. We'll see you later. Have a great week. Bye-bye.